Hi, I'm Nancy Berliner from HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. Unique among Tier 0 storage arrays, HPE Primera has been designed to be simple for customers to install themselves. For systems that are racked and cabled on site, the HPE Primera cabling tool helps make this process foolproof, as you'll see in this demo. The cabling tool identifies the optimal back-end cabling for your configuration and provides easy-to-follow, step-by-step instructions. The tool is now web-based, so it works on any device, including phones and tablets. Once it's cached in your browser, the tool can work online or offline, or for ultra-secure sites where no devices are allowed, you can print out the instructions. You can get to the tool directly at hpe.com slash storage slash PCT. But I'm going to start from HPE InfoSite, where the Primera Welcome Center has lots of information for customers doing their own system installations. Factory integrated systems arrive fully racked and cabled, so I need to choose Field Integrated from the dropdown and proceed to the cabling section where there's a link to the tool. Chrome browsers are integrated with the feature called Progressive Web Apps that allows you to place an icon on your desktop either by clicking the plus sign to the right of the address bar or by selecting Add to Home Screen on your mobile device. This also permits you to take your device offline. I'll put my PC into airplane mode just to demonstrate that. For the first example, I'll select a two-node C630. Most 630s would be ordered with the standard 2U base enclosure. However, you could opt for a 4U base enclosure if you had future plans to do a data in place upgrade and convert your 630 to a 4 node system. I'll now add three external drive enclosures and complete the configuration. Before you start connecting the cables, you might want to look at the inventory list and compare it against what you have on hand. If everything matches, you can go back to the instructions to view the schematic and click through the steps. The first cable to be run is a 1 meter cable from node 0, port 1, to enclosure 1, port 1. Next is a cable between the second port on node 0 and enclosure 3, and to complete the loop, a shorter cable between enclosures 1 and 2. And now the same between node 1 and the back end. The red and green colors help you differentiate between the two controller nodes, and a shadow view of the cables that have already been run helps prevent mistakes. I can use the controls to go back a step, restart the walkthrough to check my work, or click all steps to view the end result. And here is the printed version of the guide, which includes the six cabling steps the cable list, and a picture of the finished product. We also provide the option to see what the system would look like in a dedicated HPE rack. This system will fit in a single rack, but a larger four-node system might require additional racks. And as the instructions on the screen point out, the power and rack type options also affect the racking. For example, this configuration has 20 total 2U enclosures, which could physically fit in a standard 42U rack. But there's not enough power for all those enclosures in one rack with single phase power. If I switch to three phase power, however, the diagram in the background transitions to a single rack. There are also variations in the racking with the NEMA electrical standard, which is used in North America, versus the IEC standard, which is used more globally. The rack depth can also make a difference. Primera PDUs are mounted horizontally in the 1075 mm racks, while the deeper racks allow them to be mounted vertically, freeing up rack space for drive enclosures. Lastly, adding the optional back-end SAS adapter may change the racking for certain configurations, but the adapter will not change the maximum number of external drive enclosures supported. That's the case whether it's an all-flash array, as you see here, or a hybrid C-model array, which can scale all the way up to 40 total enclosures. For a multiple rack system, 
The diagram shows the cables that are run within racks and between racks. In the cable list, you can see the longer active optical cables that are required to be used between the racks. For help with any Primera topic, including cabling, you can visit the HPE Community Forum to view videos or ask a question. And of course, you always have the option of contacting HPE support, and we've provided an easy link to open a case right here in the tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit hpe.com storage.